welcome back to my channel my name is lauren and this is my channel naturally lauren i'm so sorry i keep looking at myself it's just i look so beautiful right now i can't help but to look at myself so please excuse that but uh today i just want to jump right into this video today's video is of my product empties i sat for a long time like literally thinking about what what will I name this video? Cause it's not just natural hair. It's a couple of uh, it's a couple of other things as well. But you know what? It's still my product empties, and I'm gonna give very short reviews and if I would repurchase. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right on into this. I'm gonna start with natural hair. So the first product is going to be a product that y'all know I love so much. Whether you follow me on here or Instagram. It is the Grovita Hair Solutions Organic Matcha Green Tea Avocado Hair Mask. Now, as y'all know, I am currently doing a hair growth a hair growth challenge. So I am currently using Grovita. So I do have another one of these, but this one I 100% finished. It's literally empty. I loved, loved, loved it. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this one because I do have multiple, multiple reviews up of this. So I will link my most recent review of the organic matcha green tea avocado hair mask. I'm going to link the most recent review up above and it will always be down below. But yeah, this is it. Love it. So the next product is going to be the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar. That's what it looks like. Use that. That's just a little bit deal. I finished this product. Smells like Play-Doh. And as you can see, it's completely empty. If you watch my... Uh, flat twisted protective style video that I uploaded more recently then you will see that this was the product that I used to do that look and that video is pretty much me finishing up this product I this is my mom and my little sisters so I didn't own this until it was like literally maybe this much left in the container so most of this was not used by me but I definitely a hundred percent love this leave-in conditioner i love the the conditioner the rinse out conditioner from the from the jamaican black castor oil line i literally love that conditioner like it's one of my favorites i have multiple videos up of me using that in my hair as a regular say leave-in conditioner although it is a rinse out i do have multiple videos up of me using that so i feel like this was a good addition to my stash and i also will be definitely repurchasing i would definitely be purchasing uh like an actual jar of this for myself to use the whole jar because i actually did really like this so i get it thumbs up okay y'all so if i look a little different it's because it's literally some hours later so i'm back just jumping straight back into it the next product is this Swall professionals moisture mask it's the almond and shea butter it's the almond and shea butter moisture mask and it's for normal to coarse hair and as you can see i use up all of this i've only had this product for a very very long time and it's because it's not super deep i mean i guess it's deep enough huh but this is this was one of my favorite deep conditioners but the thing about this product is i literally i haven't seen this in stores literally like since not too long after i bought it like the actual jar of it now i have seen like little uh trial sizes in the stores but i haven't seen you know any jars so i would definitely pick up another one and repurchase if i can find the other one i mean another one but yeah 10 out of 10 my favorite deep conditioner i recommend this whether you have straight hair uh curly hair kinky hair coily hair all of that i definitely recommend this this is what it looks like as you can see i really did love that and it smells really good it smells really good i think it smells like 
almond and shea butter which you would expect it smells like suave typically does in my opinion but you know that's just my opinion once again so the next product is this shea moisture coconut and hibiscus curl and style milk with and it's made with silk protein and neem oil and as you can see it's some product like alone the size and stuff but it's literally no way possible to get that out that's what it looks like on the inside it's i don't know what this smells like but it smells it smells pretty darn good y'all i like the smell of it it's, it's a nice subtle type of smell i feel like this product is great for beginners who's just going natural and just trying to figure out their hair uh it gives you a really really fluffy style my only dislike about this is the fact that it does give you a fluffy style you i use it like for wash and goes and stuff and i would go in wanting a super defined wash and go and using this would give me more of a voluminous fluffy look versus a defined wash and go uh which wasn't always a problem but when i wanted a defined wash and go and it did that that was a problem but you know eventually i just learned how to use it I really do like it. Um, I feel like it might be good for like twist outs and stuff if you want volume. I feel like this would have been bomb for this lazy braid out. It would have been bomb for this. Yeah, that's, that's it. My next thing I got to show you is not natural hair related. This is my Burt's Bees Beeswax Lip Balm. And as you can see, that's how it looks. So this, y'all are going to be shook. Again, this is my product empties. This is literally the inside of it. I literally got to the bottom and like scraped the bottom out. Like I'm literally done with this. I really, really do adore Burst Bees. I have so many Burst Bees chapsticks and I never, never lose them. Praise God, I never lose them. Uh, I, I like getting to the very bottom and using all of my products. Like especially with these being more on the expensive side for chapsticks i really do feel like i got my money's worth so really really do like and i definitely recommend birth bees and i have definitely repurchased like i have a birth bees chapstick over there i have a birth bees chapstick in my wallet and i have like 10 of them literally over there stacked up ready to be used when i run out of my other ones i don't like using more than two at once so yeah, I already got two out, so, yeah. And then, my last two things I want to show y'all is not natural hair related. Again, they are candles. So, both of these candles smell really good. I got them both for Wal from Walmart for like 5 $6. Really good, reasonable prices, and they're pretty big. They are 18 ounces, both of them. They smell, smell, smell really really good this one is the sunlit strawberry patch and then this one is the french country vanilla they both smell really good this one smells like vanilla smells really good nice subtle scent and then this one smells like strawberry literally smells delicious i love the smell the smell of this is really really good they both in my room i have a pretty decent size room it's not small but it's not well it's not big it's i guess more so on the small side but my room always smells delicious with either one of these two candles and all the only candles i typically use is candles from walmart because you can buy an 18 ounce candle for like five six dollars and then sometimes they do go up into like seven eight dollars too but that's very reasonable in my opinion for such good smells now not all of them smell good they don't all smell good but the ones that smell good is definitely worth your money i'm not somebody who likes to spend 24 dollars on a very wet candle that's just not my cup of tea although i do love i do love bath and body works but speaking of bath and body works i have one more candle to show y'all and my most recent one that i have used is this a thousand wishes one this smells just like the lotion and the body wash 
and um, I saw that Bath and Body Works was having a sale. This was a little while ago on their candles. So, so I was like, you know what? Let me try this. I ordered three candles, and my next um, empty products I might show those. Although the, although those have been empty way longer. If I have another product empty video, I would definitely show those. I don't really feel like it right now. But this product, this candle right here smells just like the lotion and body wash. I I like them. I like that and I like this. Uh so yeah. And it smells just like it. I don't know how I forgot to show y'all this, but these are two other shampoo and conditioner duos that I finished. This is the Garnier Fructis Full and Plush Fortifying Shampoo and Fortifying Conditioner. I got this after, um, it was some years ago, after I had finished using their damage eraser and this is before I knew everything about natural hair that I know now and I was like "Ooh, full and plush just to help my hair look fuller because as y'all know I do have thinner natural hair like a looser texture and I really did think that these two products would help bring my hair some you know fullness and I guess some plushness it smells really good as you can see it uh, has fibra collane and pomegranate in it as you can see hopefully it's not really focusing but it's for it's for visibly fuller and thicker hair and i really did like these the this duo i really did like it it smelled delicious and i think it did help my hair look a little bit fuller but i honestly feel like this would probably work better you know on uh straight hair white girl hair no offense to anybody but that's honestly who i think this will work best for but you know i liked it i give it an eight out of ten and as for this Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair um, Cleansing Cream Shampoo and Hydrating Cream Conditioner, both of them are sulfate free. These are intended obviously for naturals. They're sulfate free for natural hair. And y'all know Cantu is super affordable. These are very cheap as well, but um, yeah, y'all know Cantu. It's affordable. It's it's okay. I feel like this is very good for beginners. I didn't really care much. I didn't care for the shampoo much, but that's okay. It still was actually a really good shampoo. I just wouldn't consider it a sulfate free. It stripped my hair personally. It was more so of a cleansing as it say shampoo. Uh, since it was so cleansing, I wouldn't consider it. Maybe it is sulfate free. I don't know. I didn't see the sulfate free benefits should i say because it was so cleansing when you think of sulfate free you think of something that kind of leaves your hair more moisturized and more hydrated versus clean and stripped but i liked it i like getting my hair nice and clean so i give this right here a seven six a six point five out of ten and then their hydrated cream conditioner was very thick very creamy and it was just overall a nice conditioner um it wasn't like my favorite but it was okay so I would give this uh, an 8 out of 10. So together, maybe a 7 out of 10. I don't know. But yeah, these are the two shampoo and conditioner duos I forgot to show you. I really did enjoy both. I definitely recommend them. Especially if you're on a budget. This is really good. This is really good. This smells delicious. And you know, that's for natural hair. I don't know. But yeah. But that is all of my product empties for this video. If you all enjoyed this video and will possibly like a future empty products video, please give this video a big, big, big thumbs up. Comment down below anything, especially if you have tried any of these things that I've showed you today. And give me your opinion if you have tried them. Comment all that down below. Share this video with a friend and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for this bomb lazy braid out video as you can see my hair came out amazing so if you all would like to see how i got these results stay tuned and if it's already up before this video is up i will link it down below and yeah i will link it down below so yeah just check my channel subscribe to me and we're gonna get it popping we're gonna get it do what we're gonna let it do what it do i don't know bye y'all